On an island in the Canadian Arctic, research scientist David is recording himself while he reads some things from his notebook about sacrifice and what must be done for the sake of science. It suddenly cuts to a clip of a woman crying about an injury on her forehead and when her friend pokes it, it causes a parasite to come out, but it goes back in before he can catch it. Next a bunch of clips reveal the current state of the world. Global warming has become a very dangerous threat and eco-terrorism is a daily occurrence. A pandemic is also slowly spreading around the world, and scientists believe the illness escaped from the ice after the thawing of the permafrost. Some people call nature the real terrorist and think the Bible warned humanity about this a long time ago. This all started a few weeks ago. David and his team are watching a polar bear. They try shooting it with a tranquilizer gun to sedate it, only to make the bear furious instead. The animal starts chasing after them, but luckily the tranquilizer finally kicks in and the bear falls asleep. When the team goes to take a closer look, they're shocked to discover the bear had been eating the carcass of an ancient mammoth, which appeared after most of the ice melted. After they take the bear back to their research station, David calls his daughter Evelyn and begs her to come see his great discovery. However Evelyn is still mad at him because David didn't attend the funeral of her recently deceased mother and refuses to see him. David finally changes her mind when he offers to give her all the money left by her mother instead of monthly payments. After hanging up, David learns from the other researchers that the bear has mysteriously died, so he goes to check it out. Meanwhile at an important college, three students are chosen to join David's research, Ling, Federico, and Adam. Two days later, pilot Bart gets a call from David, who asks him not to bring his daughter to the research center and promises to send her the paperwork through him. After the call ends, David stares at the mammoth inside the tent the team has put up in the area. He's then approached by Jane, who wonders if David has asked for help and if he has cancelled the student trip. David lies, saying help is on the way and that no student will be coming. Then Jane mentions that the entire team feels sick, including herself. A few hours later, Jane is trying to rest in another tent, but she gets very upset when she hears a teammate shoot another as an act of mercy. Suddenly she throws up and realizes she's getting worse. Soon the students get ready to travel and when Bart sees Evelyn show up too he immediately tries to stop her, but Evelyn ignores him and forces her way into the helicopter. When they get closer to the Arctic, they're horrified to see how little ice is left. Eventually they make it to the research center, only to discover nobody is around. The power isn't working, there's no running water, and an awful smell haunts the room. Bart goes to check on the generator and the water tank, only to hear a gunshot in the distance. Adam and Evelyn look into the different rooms and enter a particularly stinky one at the same time Bart brings back the power, so they get startled by the bear's rotting body in the lab. When Bart joins them, he wants a picture with the bear and puts his arm on it, only to suddenly get bitten by a bug. Afterward Bart privately tells Evelyn about the gunshot. In the campsite, David starts recording his video while a teammate buries their dead friend. At that moment Jane hears the radio and is horrified to hear Evelyn's voice confirming she's come with the students. Jane rushes to warn David, who tells Evelyn that nobody should leave the building and promises to be there soon. After he hangs up, Jane asks him what he did, but David swears everything is okay. Not trusting him anymore, Jane decides to shoot David and their remaining teammate. That night, Evelyn and Adam can't sleep because they hear a weird noise, but it turns out it's just Ling and Federico doing the dirty in the other room. Their pleasure is suddenly interrupted by a bug running near them, and because Federico has a phobia he immediately jumps away from Ling. Then he picks up his clothes and goes to sleep with the others, refusing to stay in a room with a bug. Right before dawn, Evelyn wakes up when she hears a noise and sees a vehicle approaching the building. She wakes the others up and when Bart scratches his arm, he notices it's bleeding. Then Evelyn makes it outside and finds an ATV running but no driver. Next she checks the helicopter and finds an unconscious Jane inside, so she yells for help. Adam and Bart run outside but Federico goes to the other room when he hears Ling scream too. It turns out Ling has woken up with tons of mysterious red marks on her body that appear to be bug bites. While the others bring Jane inside, Evelyn tries to contact the campsite, but David is still unconscious outside the tent. Adam and Bart put Jane in bed and notice she's burning up. Evelyn finds her dad's camera next to Jane but when she looks into it she finds no tape. They all agree this is an emergency and they should leave, but when they check the helicopter they discover Jane destroyed the helicopter's control panel. Getting worried, Bart retrieves his weapon just in case. Suddenly Ling yells at the group that Jane is getting worse, so they run back to find her throwing up a strange green goo. She tells the group not to leave, but before she can explain she starts choking on the goo and dies. After Evelyn takes a moment to grieve, the group agrees to seal up the room. Afterward Evelyn decides to go looking for her dad and Adam comes with her. Meanwhile Bart tries to fix the helicopter and can't stop scratching the bug bite wound, only to discover is getting bigger and nastier. Moments later Evelyn and Adam find the campsite, and inside a tent, they find the mammoth. There's a wound on its body and Evelyn notices a bunch of eggs in it. Adam realizes the eggs are slowly thawing with the mammoth, and both of them get startled when they notice the eggs are alive and moving. Then they search the area for David, only to find the dead teammate behind the tent. Next they see the grave nearby, and since David's body is nowhere to be found, Evelyn assumes her dad is dead and buried. 
Back in the research station, Federico goes to relieve himself and feels a lot of pain as his pee comes out with blood. Then he checks on Ling, who can't stop shaking and suddenly throws up. Then Federico uses the radio to try to contact someone for help. Soon the others come back and share the bad news. Evelyn tries to go to the bathroom, only to find Ling having trouble relieving herself like it happened to Federico. Getting worried about this potential infection, Evelyn enters the sealed room and checks Jane's body more closely, finding some really nasty wounds all over her stomach. She's sure the wounds have eggs like they saw on the mammoth, which is quickly confirmed when a bug comes out of Jane's eye and hides again when it notices the humans. Evelyn concludes the bugs are parasites and there must be a bunch of them inside Jane, so they should move her to the lab because it's a separate structure. The group wraps Jane up with a bunch of bed sheets and leaves her inside the lab, where Evelyn uses the chance to take a closer look at the bear. Its wound is also full of eggs. At that moment Federico comes to announce a helicopter will arrive in a few hours to rescue them, but Evelyn thinks they should call them again and tell them not to come because they won't be prepared. Instead they should contact disease control and let them decide what to do, in fact Evelyn thinks they should all be quarantined. The guys freak out and immediately disagree, so Evelyn runs out of the lab and locks herself up in the radio room. However before she can cancel the helicopter request, Federico bursts in and shoots the radio to destroy it, scratching Evelyn in the process. Then he announces he's in charge until the helicopter comes. At that moment a very sick Ling approaches them and throws up on the floor. Adam notices it's the same color as the puke Jane choked on, which means Ling doesn't have much time left. The group takes her to a bed and when they check her stomach, they find the same wounds with eggs in them. After locking the room, they go check on the bear again and are shocked to see Jane's body wiggling as the bugs come out of her. While Adam seals the lab in Ling's room, Bart gets too worried about his own injury and wants to stop it before he reaches the same end as Jane. He rushes to the kitchen to grab a mall knife, which he uses to try to remove the eggs. However he finds a bug escaping into his arm, meaning he's already deeply infected. It seems the rest of his body is still fine though, so the best solution would be chopping the arm off. Evelyn and Adam don't like the idea but they don't have any other choice and agree to help him while in private, Federico checks his groin and finds it bleeding. Seconds later, Adam injects Bart with a sedative dart to help him with the pain and Evelyn ties some fabric above his elbow as a tourniquet. When Adam gets ready to chop, Federico comes out and says this isn't right, so he shoots at the ceiling at the same time the knife goes down. Unfortunately the knife only goes halfway, so Evelyn takes over and keeps on chopping until the arm is fully split. The parasites immediately start coming out of the fallen arm and Adam tries to get them with bug spray but it does nothing, so he lights them on fire instead. Meanwhile Bart passes out and Evelyn tries her best to cover the wound with a towel, desperate to stop the bleeding. She remembers there was a first aid kit on the ATV and Adam rushes to bring it in, then they put Bart down on the couch to tend his wound. When Evelyn opens the kit, she's shocked to find David's notebook with all sorts of bug drawings. Reading the notes they learn that the eggs are the only threat, getting bitten by a male may not equal infection. These little guys are also vertebrates, which means they're closer to humans than bugs. Evelyn also finds a bunch of tapes and volunteers to retrieve the camera for the lab to watch them, hoping they may have information that could save Ling. The guys help her get her body well covered before Evelyn enters the lab, where she notices the bear's wound has gotten bigger and nastier. Then she approaches Jane's body and she's disgusted to discover only the skeleton is left. While she grabs the camera from the bed sheets, the bugs begin coming out of the bear and go after her, so she immediately runs to the door. Federico doesn't want to let her out because he thinks she's covered in bugs, but Adam quickly fights him off and opens the door. As soon as Evelyn comes out, Federico grabs his weapon to force her to undress so they can check she isn't infected. Evelyn takes off her clothes and they see a parasite trying to get into her wound, but Adam grabs it and kills it just in time. Afterward Evelyn decides to go looking for her dad and Adam comes with her. A parasite follows them into the other room, but they quickly kill it. Wondering where it came from, they check the lab and discover thousands of parasites covering the bear, the walls, and the floor. Suddenly Ling pounds against her door because she's also getting surrounded by parasites, saying that they're coming through the vents. Ling has a breakdown over the fear and the pain, so Adam rushes to find another sedative dart. At that moment Bart wakes up and comes to check on them, but when Evelyn looks at his arm stump she's devastated to discover he's still infected. At the sight of all those parasites attacking his girlfriend, Federico snaps and shoots Ling through the door, then he tells the others she asked him to because she was suffering. They look inside and find Ling still alive with the parasites using the new wound to get in. A furious Bart punches Federico then grabs the sedative and volunteers to go in, knowing he doesn't have much time left either. Evelyn, Adam, and Federico go away while Bart goes into the room and injects Ling so she can die peacefully. Then he sits back and waits for the parasites to take him too. In the lounge, Evelyn and Adam tell Federico they should make sure everyone's clean before they leave. Federico panics and runs outside, so the others try to stop him. When Federico threatens to shoot them, he's suddenly shot first and falls dead, revealing David behind him with a weapon of his own. Evelyn rushes to reunite with her father and David tells them where to find the gasoline so they can burn the building down. 
Afterward Adam and Evelyn begin spreading the gasoline inside the building, noticing that the parasites are now sneaking around other rooms too. Evelyn suddenly remembers that her father told her not to come, meaning he knew yet allowed the students to come anyway. Wanting answers, she rushes to finally watch the tapes and is horrified to learn what her dad meant by sacrifice. David thought the parasites were the perfect way to make people finally scared of climate change, so he let a parasite enter his body while being sure he could keep it contained. At that moment David finds Evelyn and Adam watching the tapes and asks them to return them. Evelyn begs him not to do this, but David takes the tapes and leaves the building, saying only he will leave the island. As the helicopter lands nearby, David goes to meet it after locking up the building. The pilot asks if he's infected and David says no. Evelyn and Adam grab the notebook and break a window to escape. Adam manages to hold on to the helicopter as it takes off, telling the pilot that David is infected. However David says Adam is the infected one and the pilot doesn't know who to believe. Soon Adam can't hold on anymore and falls, dying as soon as he hits the ground. A desperate Evelyn grabs Federico's weapon and starts shooting at the helicopter until she hits the pilot, causing the chopper to go down and crash into the building. Evelyn runs as the building explodes and the flames kill all the parasites. After saying goodbye to Adam, Evelyn retrieves the notebook and hides in Bart's helicopter. The next day, two more chops arrive because they were worried after losing contact with the first one, and they managed to save Evelyn before she could freeze to death. Sometime later, Evelyn goes viral with her story and she's considered a hero. Meanwhile in the countryside, a hunter calls back his dog, who had been feeding on a dead bird. It's revealed the bird also has eggs, and now the dog is going home with his owner in the big city. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.